It's mid-January 2017. I've been eating one meal a day or OMAD for the past three months. I use that to mean eating one big meal, usually in the evening. That may include a midday snack and that also may include cheat days. So the first month update and the second month update, I weighed myself showing my weight loss for that month. I've gone from 240, my heaviest was 248, but I started out at 240 on day one of eating one meal a day and I've gone down to the late two teens and I'm still at the late two teens right now. So in this video, I thought I would show my progress in a different way by how my clothes are fitting. So I'm gonna show how loose some of my shirts are right now. This is a pre-OMAD shirt. Um, this is a shirt I wear on Fridays at work because we can dress down on Fridays. So whenever I try on a shirt before I buy it, one of the first things I do is I pull it away from my body to see how much space there is because I only like it to be two or three inches away. I don't like it to be further away because then it's too loose. So this shirt, when I bought it, would have just been a couple inches away. And now when I pull it away, it's like a hand's length away, so that means it's too loose. There's no way I would have bought this shirt being this loose, so I can fold it over just to see how much room there is. Here's a polo shirt, and same thing with this. When I bought it, it would have only been two or three inches away. Now when I pull it out, it's about a hand's length away. So this is too loose. Here's a button up shirt. Again, too loose. Here's a t-shirt. Again, too loose. And these are the jeans I wore in my first few one meal a day eating videos without a belt on. So with sucking in, you can see how loose they are. And without sucking in, you can still see how loose they are. Definitely have to wear a belt with them. And speaking of my belt, I've had to go up a couple notches since eating one meal a day. So that's about it for this video. Like I said, the scale didn't go down during the third month, but that's okay. There's many reasons to practice intermittent fasting. There's been entire books written about it. There's been documentaries, all kinds of things, lots of research, lots of studies going on. Weight loss is just one of the benefits of practicing intermittent fasting. And really it's starting to become a side note for me. I'm eating one meal a day or practicing intermittent fasting um, for multiple reasons and weight loss is one of them. So. My goal weight is 180, and I'm not in a hurry to get there. I've done things to try to get to my goal weight before that weren't sustainable, and the thing with eating one meal a day, or a variation of it, taking the main idea and tweaking it, is what I feel is going to be sustainable for me. And that's one reason why I talk about having a midday snack, which is recommended by The Warrior Diet, which is a book about basically eating one meal a day, and... I talk about having cheat days. I've been having cheat days on Saturday and those help. Um, people may not feel like they need a midday snack or cheat days at first and they may never. I mean, it's up to each person. So I feel like to make this sustainable, take the main idea of eating one meal a day and tweak it. So midday snack if I need it, cheat day if I need it. And I'd rather have the midday snack and cheat day to help keep me eating one meal a day, keep making these videos, and eventually reach my weight loss goals than just fall off the bandwagon and forget it and move on to something else. Because I've mentioned this before, eating one meal a day is not a fad diet. It's a form of intermittent fasting. It's not something to just do real quick to lose weight lose 20 pounds and then move on to something else. It's for me anyway, this is something I want to stick with. I'm only on month three. I'm just getting started and I plan on continuing and making these videos. So that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching.